Here on Specialty Crop Corner, we got Brad Burgerford, horticulture specialist here at the OSU South Centers. Uh, Brad has been working on a new trial of strawberries out in the field that we can harvest at Thanksgiving and wintertime. But what we're going to do right now is talk a real quick minute about how, it's, you know, how it all gets started. And we're talking a gutter system. So Brad, tell us what, a, what this gutter system is. Yes, correct. If you see the picture here, um, it is actually strawberries being grown in a gutter. However, the gutter is mainly just for um, removal of the excess um, nutrient solution that we actually feed these strawberry plants. They're growing in a soilless substrate mix that is encased in a plastic covering that has drainage holes in the bottom and then we have holes that are spaced according to the plant spacing that we would want, the po plant population we would want for that size of a greenhouse. So then we would go ahead and take the plants, plant them into the, uh, the plastic substrate, the soilless substrate uh, mix that we have there that is sitting on top of the gutters and then you can see from there there's some tubing hanging down those are the drip emitters how we feed with a nutrient solution and we irrigate um, since we're not relying on mother nature to water these with rainfall we have to play mother nature through the use of drip irrigation so then after we get these plants we put the drip emitters uh, by each plant and then we start on a daily basis several times a day irrigating and fertigating that's where we're actually injecting nutrient solution into the fertilizer or into the water the irrigation water so that's what we call fertigation and we fertigate our plants on a daily basis sounds great for more information about this new project brad's got going uh, stay tuned to southcenters.osu.edu thank you for watching